45. Oh no, we've been raided. Why? Someone tried to rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We are able to defend ourselves. Happy dance! Woot woot! <sighs> Anytime no one gets injured and they don't take anything, I, I get pretty happy. So, even number day, everybody gets to eat. Yay! Let's go ahead. Radio! Nope. Weather's the same. Still warm. The oven's still dead. People are scouring the streets and abandoned houses for every everything that can be eaten, burned, or traded. If aid doesn't reach the city soon, the situation will become dire. Hmm. The radio, like the stuff, I don't know. Does anyone know if the stuff on the radio is, like, randomly broadcasted? Because I feel like Yovan dies in the middle of a 45 day war so to me that tells me it might be a shorter war I don't know if that's true or not um, if you guys have any idea let me let me know I need two more I don't know what I was thinking Help board up the house. We can fix the guitar. But we can't do both. I think boarding up the house is more important. I mean, they're pretty happy as is. Notice he's still content. Um, they're content, so that's that's very good. It means they're very happy. If they get too depressed, they can leave and take your stuff. They can also hurt themselves. I had who was it? Roman that kept freaking hurting himself. It's driving me insane. Um. Oh, the barter guy is here. Okay. Well, I have to hold on. Oh, hey. Look who isn't sick anymore! Booyah! Woot woot! Anyways, gotta go. Alright, Dark, I'll see you later, man. Have a good day. You're on day 17? Well, cool. Who are you playing with right now? We can't make our own bullets yet. So. I know you guys probably think I'm insane for trying to get wood, but it's a pain to, like, carry it back and forth all the time. And... Paying to carry it back and forth all the time. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got. <laughs> um, I have one of these. Very generous. Hmm. All right. Well, I feel 
like there's a lot of upgrading that I want to do, and um, you have Anton and Amelia. Nice. So we can make the advanced workshop now, which is good because then we can upgrade um, our heater, which will use less fuel through the winter time, which is awesome. I also need to upgrade um, the metal workshop because I want to make a hatchet. When you have a hatchet, you can break down the furniture in the house for wooden fuel, which is also very helpful when it gets cold. So all very important things. Does he have any electric parts? Because we're going to need... Nope. No electric parts. Poop. do we need to upgrade it? Oh wow, we just need those? Huh. Okay, cool. How about this? Need both. Hmm. It's day 10. We don't have to worry about eating for a while. I don't really have anything that I particularly want to trade. I want to keep those and fix them up. I don't really want to trade them. So I think we're done with him today. Goodbye, thank you, you were really helpful. And how's it going for you? How's your playthrough going? Are you having a hard time or... Or is it a pretty smooth run through? Because I have had some of those where, you know, the run through, it actually goes really well, it's pretty smooth, everything happens, that doesn't happen very often, but it does happen every once in a while. Okay, see, we can't get to the d detached house, we can't get to the quiet house, can't get there due to fighting. Aw oh, man, we can't to the garage, can't get to the garage either, that stinks. We have a few things left at the shelf, cottage, not much. Um, I'm actually going to go to the squat. You can't get any food there. There's no food. Obviously, it's not listed. Um, but there are a crap ton of materials, so if we're wanting to upgrade things and we need materials, we need to go to the squat. Um, from being there before, I know that we should bring some food with us because there is a man that is starving there. Um, and he shows you valuables in return. So... We're gonna go there. It was a ruin before the war, and half the city looks like this. This is gonna be our stash, this, whatever this is, right here. You can see it has parts and stuff in it already. That's awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Okay. Some more stuff down here. Now, this valuable stuff that he's going to give you for helping him, you can't get it any other way. If he doesn't show you where it is, you're not going to be able to reach it. So, it's kind of a... It's up to you if it's worth it or not. It's just one of those decisions. If you don't feed him today, you can come back the very next day. But if you wait longer than that, he will already be dead. I brought from the house. Grab everything. We're just gonna keep clearing it out just like last time. It's one of those once you once you have something good, we don't really mess with it. This works for me, so. I said, expect to get a ton of materials from here. Oh, 
I don't think I brought a crowbar or a lockpick. We will need one of those. It's okay, we can always come back later. I have to say, I do miss having Boris. That's another character, and he has 17 slots in his backpack, which is the most that I've seen in the game. And um, I had him a couple playthroughs in a row, and it was so nice. He could clear out this whole area. Um, I think I got a little spoiled because <laughs> I actually miss, miss having him. There's a grate there. I'm not really, unless we get desperate, I'm not going to worry about it. I don't remember there being anything super awesome. And uh, you use up a saw, so unless I just have a crap ton of extra saws, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm one of them now. There is not much food, so some of my friends already left us. But do not be worried. I too will seek more appropriate refuge as soon as I finish my painting. Sometimes these things that you see, they open up um, new stashes of items for you, so it's always important to um, click on them, even if you've read them a hundred times, just in case. Since I'm very hungry, could you help me? Yes, I can. Here you go. You are a good person. I don't know how to thank you enough. I'm gonna take all this stuff. Open this door. I will show you, come with me. Sorry, I didn't have that opened earlier, so he kind of took the long way around. <laughs> it is 12.20 a.m. game time. We still have plenty of time left here. here. Remember, we already cleared this area, um, but now he's showing us where some stuff was hidden in order to repay us for giving him food. And it's not food, but pure alcohol and jewelry, those are high trade items. So he actually, uh, that was really helpful. Um, he really helped us out being able to barter um, for whatever we might need. So not only do you get some high value items, but then your people are happy because you help somebody. So it's kind of a win-win situation going on here. I don't have anything to unlock that. I think I only... Yep, here's one more that we need to clear. And I think that's it as far as what we can reach for right now. Click here. Someone probably painted this picture recently. There are rich looking people sitting together in a littered ruined building. A metaphor of some sort, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's not a metaphor. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened since we read a letter where she pretty much described that exact same thing. That's alright, whatever. So, we've got everything cleared out that we can. What do we want to take? We definitely want to take components. Definitely need some wood because we want to upgrade things. Electric parts are very, very nice. And we'll take one of the trading things, so I'll take the jewelry. There. We're going to go home. So, all in all, a successful, successful run.
Look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. I'm glad he's happy. And the night was calm. Happy dance. Woot woot. Woot woot. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade some stuff. So nobody's sick. Nobody's injured. Nobody's upset or angry. Things are going pretty smoothly right now. Knock on wood. Now that I've said that, something terrible is probably going to happen. So it looks like she's giving us a little more of her story. Um, the army is trying to break the rebels' morale with this incessant bombardment, but it's the civilians like us that suffer the most. When you've been under fire for so long, you learn to predict where a mortar shell will fall by the sound it makes. I'd never have thought about it, but one fateful day changed everything. Ooh. I'm sure she will tell us more about that fateful day. No one else has anything to say. Let's see if he can't um, upgrade this real quick so we can get that out of the way. And let's see if this can be upgraded. Ah, no, not yet. Gosh dang it. Which means we're gonna go to the radio next and see where that gets us. No change in the weather. Upcoming day should still be nice and warm, but we're ready um, if that changes. This is new. Uh, cigarettes and tobacco are presently used in poker and as currency. Nonetheless, the city is running short on them. What will happen if they run out completely? So that's nice. It kind of gives us a heads up um, that the barter price of tobacco and cigarettes is going to go up. Um, people are scouring the streets. So this is the same here. No change here. So really all we learned is that uh, if you have any cigarettes, their value is going to be going up soon. So hold on to them. This is all the way upgraded as you can see, as is the heater now. Uh, just a word of warning, when you do go and upgrade your heater, don't put any fuel in it before you do. I did a no-no, and I completely filled it up with six, and then I upgraded it, and it took away all my fuel, so I lost all of that. I was kind of ticked. So, don't do that. <laughs> um, where was I? Okay. Can't really make anything else there. I'm short just one component. But I don't have anything left in the house. So now we're just going to wait, see if visitors are going to be coming around. And then we're going to head out again. I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like um, this playthrough has been that bad yet. It started out kind of rough, um, with everybody being sick and getting injured when they were guarding and stuff. But so far I feel like it's turned around for the better. Hopefully I still think that later, right? Nobody's here yet, I'm sure. Probably nobody is going to show up. Not this close to 12 noon anyway. Hey Woodnader, what's up man? Welcome to the stream. Probably on a lunch break. Alright, so... It's past noon, no one's coming. We don't have anything else to build, we need more parts. We are building up quite a bit. I'm actually kind of impressed, to be completely honest. Um, so we're just gonna end the day. Go out and get more stuff. We have a few new places. We have... The apartment building. This old apartment building used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son, but they fled. There are rumors of some shady looking well armed individual taking refuge there. We had better be careful if we decide to go there. Probably not going to go there. Um, but we can't go there if we wanted to because of the fighting right now, so it doesn't matter. School. School was damaged by mortar shells. No classes held for a long time. Recently, a group of rebel mili militiamen moved into the abandoned building that might be willing to trade with us. Okay. 
Hospital. Hospital is an awesome place to go. They will heal your people for free. No kidding. You're wounded? Go to the hospital. For free. Bandages. You're sick? Go to the hospital. For free. They give you pills. Wonderful. So, um, but we can't get there because of the fighting. The hotel is new as well. A small yet luxurious hotel, previously owned by Pilgrim Travel Agency, presently occupied by some armed thugs. Screams are sometimes heard from the building. Best to keep away. I can tell you right now, probably not going there. So, we're actually going to go back. Um, well, I say that, but I'm pretty sure we need food, don't we? Poop. We can go to the church and we can try to trade um, for some food, because tomorrow I believe is an even day, so they're going to need to eat. Lucky for us, we have some medicines that they like. At least it's safe. At least we're going to a place that's safe. We don't have to worry about stuff. Pretty safe. As long as you don't tick off the wrong people. So this is going to be our stash. This is what's in it so far. Stuff. I'm not sure I've really heard that before. Um, back. Drop it off. Hopefully I don't have to use up all the medications, but we'll see. If I do, then I do. Doesn't matter. Hi. Come. Welcome, we've been robbed recently, so we have little left. Well, that stinks. Back here, um, under here is where his people stay, so... As long as you don't mess with those guys, they're usually... It's a safe place. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and... So it'll break, so I'll have... See, my flock sleeps beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. Now he should be willing to trade. Here we go. Do you have food? Not really. Don't, doesn't really have food, does he? That's really sad. Well, we have some food. That's better than none, right? I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll figure something out. Grab everything, run back to the stash. Hmm. Trying to think, what are we gonna do? We're gonna need food. Luckily, they're not gonna be like starving yet. It'll be the next day, so that's good. We don't have a lockpick or anything, which I might need. In fact, I know I'm gonna need. That stinks that they just got robbed. Read Donculus. these out of the way. Okay, I'll check. I'm going to do um, kind of a speed run through here first to see if they have any food because we need food. We need to have food for tomorrow. So I'm just kind of check all the piles. I might not grab stuff out of it. I'm looking for food is what I'm looking for. bar the door. Of course, I, I knew it was barred because I've played this before. Um, you can go up and around as well. That works too. Oh, whoops. There we go. Any bits of food. Come on. Any bits of food. 
12.50 a.m. Oh, now it's 1 a.m. game time. It's not very promising. I think this is what's locked. Oh, no. Oh, good, it's not locked. It's just shovel. That makes things better. Good thing we brought the shovel, guys. Good thing we brought the shovel. some stuff though. Check over here. Oh hello, don't be afraid, I'm just looking around. Okay, thanks. I was actually terrified of that guy the first time I came here, because I don't know if you noticed, but he's actually, he's holding a gun. And, um, so I thought he was going to try to kill me. What's the easiest way to survive in this game? Um... Easiest way to survive in this game. Um, I think a lot of players will agree with me. Um, the worse you behave, the easier it is to survive. And what I mean by that is, if you're if you're willing to steal from others and kill and do all that stuff, um, it's easier. more difficult to be nice and survive. Um, but other than that answer, I think that is a very complicated answer. <laughs> I have talked to quite a few people that have played this game. They've been in and out of my stream. Um, and we've all talked about different things that we do to make surviving easier. And I think I've taken that list of things and I've picked what works best for me. And so some of the things that I've picked up that make it easier to survive is like eating every other day, not every day. Um, making traps to try to get your own food. Um, knowing, you know, how to clear out the warehouse and other places like that. Using the stash method, uh, using the knife when you kill, it's easier. Uh, I don't know. Stuff like that, maybe? I don't know, that's a really, really huge question. And I'm not sure that there's one way that will work for everybody either. Depending on which characters you get and everything will depend on what works for you. Hey, hey, what's up? How are you, man? I thought I heard someone coughing. Someone better not be sick. Found plenty of really fine stuff. What a night. Been raided. Wonderful. Oh, good. Yay! No one got hurt. We fend them off. Yay! So we only have three things of food and we have four people. curious on different strategies. Yeah, there are a ton of different strategies, Doctor. Um, and I think it kind of depends what your playthrough is and who you have. Um, right now, I'm going for self-sufficient. Um, and I'm trying to use tricks like um, eating every other day, only giving medicine if they're like super sick, using the hospital when it comes available, making my own traps, trying to grow my own vegetables, um, upgrading the stove so you don't use as much fuel in the winter time. I mean, it, I think it's, uh, I think you utilize a lot of different strategies. Um, but it was completely different the last playthrough we did. Um, I started with only Marco, and I only had Marco the whole time. And the strategy to get through that playthrough was like completely different. I had to take everything I knew about how I've survived, because these this is like what, run through number 10 or something? I had to take everything that I knew and everything that I usually did and like throw it out the window. 
um, and it was completely different. So, and if you're on that playthrough, I did upload that playthrough um, to YouTube, so you can certainly go back and watch and see what I did. We did survive it first try. It was just really difficult. It took a year to get into chat because everything was lagging. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. It's green over here. Unless it just had a random lag spike, which could happen. Internet's not perfect. I'd be so happy when we get fiber. So I'm not feeding everybody yet. I'm hoping that this will catch something. It may, it may, oh it did. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shoo! See, that was just luck right there. That strategy was luck. That's what that was. Ugh. So now we have enough food for everybody. Okay. Now we're good. And they've already woken up. They're not tired anymore. What do we need? Oh no, more water. Are you cereal right now? Um don't have a filter, so go make a filter, please. You go back up here. Check it out for sure. I like the feedback as well. Thanks. Oh, no problem, doctor. Um, we are big on discussing strategy and things like that for this game, so if you have any thoughts or any questions, feel free, for sure, join in, ask. You know, if you have any tricks that you found useful, please let us know. Um, we'd like to hear it. For sure. I know your stomach is rumbling, I'm sorry. Yeah, the the strategy for the Marco solo playthrough, I'm not sure I would ever use that strategy on like any other playthrough. It was ridiculous. Alright, we'll see you in a second, hey hey. It was like I always had to take everything with me and I would leave food out in the scavenge area so people couldn't steal it and I didn't pick up everything from my house because I didn't want them to take it away and it was it was it was insane. It was insane. He was the only one so he would get so depressed so instead of being self sufficient I tried to focus on being happy and oh my word. Can't even tell you. Good news, we're good on food for a couple days. You're on day 19. I'm on day 12. <laughs> Not close at all, am I? <laughs> Alright, he's eaten, so now we're just waiting for some water. And then the other two can eat. Then we'll be good for a couple another days. Um, I would like to upgrade this workbench first, if I can, which I can't because then I can get the hatchet. When I get the hatchet, I can start breaking down um, the, materi or the materials, the furniture in here that I didn't build, like the desk and stuff, and I can get wood and fuel that way, and so it saves on my trips, um, which is really, really nice. I'll definitely drop in from now on, stick around, maybe learn some things. That's awesome, Doctor. I really appreciate it. It's been really cool having you in, having you in here with us. Um, and this is not the only game I play, for sure. We uh, stream at least two or three different times a day, at least two different games. I know I've already streamed two different games today, so for sure stick around, hang out and chill, and maybe learn something, or at least make new friends, right? That's always